Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode. I need your help unloading the Bridgeford Mobile. Guys, it's come where I've got a new boat that's coming. I should say it's here already, so I don't only have room for one boat in the garage. As much as I'd like to keep two boats, my beautiful wife Sarah behind the camera right now does not want me to have two boats. She wants to be able to park in the garage. So I got to get rid of this one. So I need your help. I want to do a quick walkthrough of the boat for you so you can see what it has. If you've got any friends or maybe yourself are looking for a boat, this is a good one for you. It's a 2021 Skeeter FXR20 Apex Edition with the 250 Yamaha Show on the back. Let's do a quick walk around to show you what you get with the boat. All right, so the boat will be cleaned up. I did just get back from Labor Day weekend. I have not washed the boat yet, but keep in mind that it's been wrapped the entire time I've had it. I took it right from the boat dealer to my wrap guy. So it should smell like a new boat. As soon as we take the wrap off, you do not get the wrap as cool as it is. I have to take it off. Uh, all right, so starting up front, the boat comes with four Lowrance HDS-12 live units. You can see you got two of them up there with the ProSize Outdoors dual stacker mount. You get the Lowrance Ghost. This is a brand new one that we just put on. Uh, you get the Lowrance Active Target, which comes on it. So you've got everything you need to catch the fish when you're up front. You even get my special little mounting system for fishing big water. Uh, this just helps keep the whole trolling motor put in place. You can see I've got a couple of things mounted there that are custom jobs on my own. From a back unit standpoint, you get the two more HDS 12s, like I mentioned. This boat, so the Apex Edition Skeeter is the fully loaded Skeeter. It basically comes with every option that they make. So the whole front carpet is padded, which is unbelievable believably awesome you get uh, all the compartment container holders that are in the middle i take them out as soon as i get them i will put them back in for you they've never been used so that's something that's nice uh, again we've got the ProSize outdoors graph mounts up front so you get that moving to the back of the boat we've got two power pole blade eight footers we've got our hydraulic uh, Atlas jack plate, which is something that, as my wife would know, I never thought I'd need, but now I've run them for the last five or six years. I don't think I could ever buy a boat without a uh, Atlas hydraulic jack plate, something that TH Marine makes, and they're phenomenal. Uh, coming to the power of the boat, We've done a couple of things back here, but you guys know I love my Battleborn batteries, so you get 300. Uh, 100 amp hour 12 volt batteries those will last you for days on the water you will have no issues with the trolling motor standpoint and then i'm running two agm batteries in parallel in the back to make sure that you've got enough power to always get your motor started as well as run power to your graphs um, as well as and then we've got the power pole charge sitting right here that keeps everything uh, fully charged up while you're on the water. That is a great tool. It's something that uh, is really nice because you can monitor it on an app on your phone. Make sure that everything is charging appropriately. Very, very nice. I'll put that out of the way. Okay. From a trailer standpoint, the trailer's top of the line as well. Uh, you get the additional tire. This is wrapped too. So you can see that that should also be clean underneath. Uh, I do want to point out, I've got a couple of scuffs. The Apex Edition tires come with these little nubs that stick out, which is something that I am not a fan of. You can see I've got a lot of rim wear on my rims from riding against curbs. Uh, this tire is not so bad. This tire, because it's the front tire, has gotten it. Uh, so that is an issue that you'll see that I've got with it. Uh, moving up front, you know, I really don't have too many other uh, things to really complain about, or at least for you guys that you'll want to know about. But this is one that I also want to point out. I, uh, I had another boat at a tournament. I had my, my navigation light in, and the boat hit the front of the navigation light, bending it backwards. 
and it popped a little tiny piece of fiberglass off here and ripped this port out. The port has since been replaced, so the port works great, but there is a little crack in the fiberglass here. So we wrapped over it, you can see that right there. So the gel coat's got a little bit of a crack in it, or a little chunk missing. Other than that, guys, the boat is in great tip-top shape. What I've always done is I take my boats in, uh, once I get a deal lined up, I take my boats into the boat center in Chippewa Falls, phenomenal Skeeter dealership, and they do a complete overhaul of the boat. They'll go through it, make sure that the engine's in tip-top shape, they go through all the electronics, they, the whole boat gets looked at. If there's anything that needs to be repaired, they replace it and they make sure that the boat is running perfectly for the new buyer. It's a really nice service and agreement that I've got with them in place. And if you're looking for a new boat, guys, check out the Boat Center in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. They're a Skeeter dealer, War Eagle, a Ranger. They got a bunch of boats, but they're run by fishermen, so they know how to prep the boats for you guys. Anyways, let's talk meat and potatoes. Right now, I've got the boat listed for uh, just under $73,000, but that is negotiable, as well as what comes on the boat. If you guys want only two graphs we can work out a deal with only two graphs if you want one power pole i guess i could take one off we'll see i don't know if i want to go that far but everything's negotiable as you know so spread the word guys we got to get this boat to a new owner it's been a great boat for me it's got about 170 hours on it so it's something that i don't use uh as much as a lot of other guys out there who are on the water every day so if you want to get in touch with me, you can do it through the comment section. You can reach out to me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Matt7Fishing, and send me a direct message, and we can talk details. The boat, like I said, it's a little dirty right now, but as soon as you take the wrap off, it'll be shined up clean. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all of your support, and I need your help finding a new owner. Thanks for watching. We'll have a new video coming out tomorrow for you.